Hello, welcome to the Mark Janot Show, the cybersecurity show. In this video, have you ever wondered how to access the camera, mic, and location of any device? There's this tool called Stormbreaker, and in this video, I'm going to talk about what is Kali Linux Stormbreaker, how to install it, and how you can use it to access location, mic, and camera of any devices. This is for educational purposes only. I do not condone any illegal activity. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We're going dark. So Stormbreaker is a social engineering tool designed for use in Linux environments, particularly with Kali Linux, which is known for its penetration testing capabilities. The tool is primarily used for accessing sensitive information from a target device, including location, webcam, and microphone, and operating system passwords by leveraging ngrok for online hosting. Some of the features and functionality of this software is its device information access, right? Storm breaker can retrieve various device details from the target location tracking it can determine and provide the location of the target device you have webcam and microphone access the tool can access and control the targets webcam and microphone you have the OS password retrieval it is capable of grabbing the targets operating system password by tricking the user into entering it on a spoofed web page now Let's get into the installation and usage, right? You cannot, you cannot use, you know, Stormbreaker if you don't know how to install it. So to install Stormbreaker, users need to clone the tool from its GitHub repository and follow a series of setup steps, including setting executable permissions and installing necessary Python packages. Once installed, users can run the tool using Python, which provides various options for accessing the target's resources. Now, ethical considerations, okay? Nomiachi a while in using this tool now. While Stormbreaker offers powerful capabilities, it is crucial to use such tools responsibly and legally as they can infringe on privacy and security if misused. The tool is intended for cybersecurity professionals, ethical hackers, and law enforcement for legitimate purposes. So, uh, Peter, you're going to have to put some things on the screen for a while now. All right, bear with me. So to use Stormbreaker tool on Kelly Linux, follow these steps. Installation, right? First, clone the Stormbreaker repository from GitHub using the command Peter, put that code on the screen. Navigate into the Stormbreaker directory. Peter, put the code on the screen. Ensure that Linux installer.sh script has executable permissions. Peter, put that code on the screen. Peter, put that code on the screen. Run the installer script to set up the necessary environment. Peter, put that code on the screen. Install the required Python packages. Peter, put that code on the screen. Give executable permission to the main script. You guys know what I'm about to say. Put that code on the screen. Put that code on the screen. Now we're going to talk about how to use this tool to access the location, mic, and camera of all devices. But before we do that, please take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button and the like button. Once again, please hit that subscribe button and the like button. So to access the webcam of the target, type and hit, uh, no, type one and hit enter. Now choose the required option according to your wish. It generates two links, first to worldwide and second to local hosts. Send this link to the target. Target, click on you know the link and give permission to use the camera. As soon as the target clicks on the camera button, the page shown right here will pop up and will have his image and device info. We can see in the picture shown here uh, that now we have the target's device info and his images, which are saved automatically in the images folder. Okay, now access location. To access the location, type 2 and hit enter. Again, type 2 and hit enter. Uh, it generates two links. First, the worldwide and second, to local host. Send the link in the image shown here uh, to the target to get his location. The target is shown a simple web page when he accesses the link. Now, when he clicks the, the change location button, an alert is generated showing, right? And just like that, we receive the link to see his location. Now. Open this link in your web browser, right? You have the OS password grabber. To get the target's OS password, type one and hit enter. It generates two links. 
first to worldwide and second to localhost. Send this link to the target shown here. When the target accesses the, this link, the password screen is prompt to enter his password. As soon as he enters the password and hits enter, he is redirected to a web page and boom, we get his OS password. Now, there are some troubleshooting errors that you may encounter and here are here is how to deal with them right so troubleshooting common installation errors for stormbreaker can you know involve several steps so here are some of the common issues and solutions right so the pipe command error if you encounter errors related to the pipe command ensure you have pipe installed correctly you can try reinstalling it or using pipe 3 instead of pipe as stormbreaker requires python 3. Uh, you can run the following command to install the required packages. Peter, please put that code on the screen. Now, uh, the next one is permission denied errors, right? If you receive permission errors, ensure that you have the necessary permissions to execute scripts. You can change the permissions using Peter, put that code on the screen. You guys like my chair. Yeah, look, y'all like my chair. Y'all like my chair. Look, 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 look. It lights. I got a new chair for y'all. I got a new chair for y'all. Y'all like that. Yeah, I like that. Uh, <laughs> run the installation script with sudo if necessary. And P Peter, you could put that code on the screen. Now, there is another troubleshooting. It's called missing dependencies. Ensure all dependencies are installed by running the, require, uh, the require requirements file. Peter, you could put that code on the screen. And there's, there may be ngrok errors too. If you encounter errors related to ngrok, such as the e e the ERR underscore ngrok, 8012, ensure that you know you have the correct version installed. Update ngrok if necessary by downloading the latest version of the ngrok website and following the installation instructions. Then there's general er uh, errors, right? For any other errors, check the issues section on the Stormbreaker GitHub repository. Many custom issues and their solutions are discussed there, right? Uh, and you can also open a new issue if your problem is not listed. Communication is key, guys. Communication is key. So by following the steps that I talked about, you should be able to resolve most common installation errors encountered while setting up Stormbreaker. If problems persist, consider reaching out to the community or checking for updates to the tool. Uh, that's what I have for you today. Please take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button and the like button. Once again, please take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button and the like button. I appreciate your viewership. Stay safe and see you on the next video.